hey guys welcome to today's video if you're joining me for the first time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're an old subscriber thank you for joining me again <laughs> i'm so excited to have you all <laughs> um in my last video i read my statement of purpose i used for my canadian study visa application i also shared tips on how to write a perfect statement of purpose and i also shared on the tool on how to use the tool chat gpt to write um to make statements better to write stories on like generally how you can use that tool to um write a better statement of purpose in today's video i'm going to be sharing on how to create an account on the ircc portal yeah and also how to use the tool that you can use to merge your documents to compress your documents and um, to split your documents for your application online there are um, limited sizes for the documents you have to upload yes for the old portal i think you have a maximum size of 4 mb i've never used the new portal but i heard um, the maximum size for 5 is 2 mb that's how i actually prefer using the old portal yeah so um sometimes you can get uh, so many documents for one of the upload options and by the time you merge all these documents together it's beyond the size of 4 mb so using this tool helps you compress the documents also take out um, some pages from a pdf file yeah and the name of this tool is i love pdf so i'm going to be giving a demo session on how to do that and um, also a demo session on how to create an account on the ircc portal so i'm going to be sharing my screen right now in order to open an application just google ircc um, login we're going to be using the old portal so the first option is sign into your ircc secure account um, you can select that um, when you scroll up you see signing with gc key don't have an account um, we don't have an account yet we're trying to create a new account so let's um, do this um, you see register with gc key register with signing partner while registering without a signing partner so um, i'm going to select register with gc key there's no account created yet so we have to sign up select sign up accept the terms and conditions of use so this is where you create a username um so um let's think of a username we can create for this particular account so let's try Ifoma John. Mm, let's see if it's going to work. Ifoma John. Yeah, so Ifoma John worked. So it's now time to create a password. By the right, you see password checklist. So you can now create your password, any kind of password. Um, remember the password checklist is eight to sixteen characters does not contain three consecutive characters from username just check all the whole checklist um so this is a demo account so let's use demo canada one at let's see if this is going to work demo canada one at any kind of pass ah that's what <laughs> so let's see um this is um recovery questions answers and hints these are questions that maybe when you lose access to your accounts they'll ask you these questions that you set to yourself to try and um, restore your account so let's select a recovery question um, let's say what was my first pet's name where did i meet my significant order um, order um, where did i go for my honeymoon um so we, you can select any of the any question here let's say for instance where was the first organization i worked for 
let's put um for instance let's put abuja my memorable person required um let's say your memorable person is your is john and john is your po is your boss so let's put john um for this person let's put john let's put boss for the memorable person hints memorable dates um let's say um let's put let's say january 2023 let's say new year of this year um let's put the hint as new year so whatever question recovery question you want to set for yourself you just put it and then um especially for the first one you can select it and then you put hints for all for the rest so this is the email address you want your account to be linked to So whatever email address you have, um, for instance, now let's use email address here. So it's going to proceed with the confirmation. So I have to open my my email. Okay. Uh, so this is the code actually sent. So I'm going to copy it here and then I paste the code. So whatever email you use for this, that is where the GC key is going to be sent to. So you can see it's really well coming with the username. So we're trying to sign in or create an IRCC secure account. So let's go to sign in. We've already created an account. So let's go to sign in. You accept the terms and conditions. Um, let's say we're using Ifoma John for this application. Let's say the person's given name is Ifoma. So Ifoma John. So the email address, the same email address I used, um, preferred language of notification, English. If you want French, you can select French. So after that, you continue. So this is where you set your security questions for your account. Um, let's set random questions since this is a demo account. Um, let's say, what is my first name? Just set questions that you won't forget to because anytime you want to log into your accounts, they are going to ask any of these questions. Um, for this person's account, the person's first name is Ifoma. Let's put the question mark here. Um, let's put what is my son name. No, don't put something simple. It's because of the demo account we are using this. What is my son name? um john um what is my birthday okay let's say what is my bet um year um let's say 1993 um, what is my bet month Um, let's say January so after setting your security questions you can continue as you can see it has created um, an application see Ifoma Jones account um, so there's no application yet that's why it's showing no data available in table so in order to add an application to these accounts, you are you select start an application that applies. So the first option is please enter your personal reference code to begin your application. Um, we're not using a personal reference code, so you can go to scroll up and you see I do not have a personal reference code. In this case, um, Informa Join 
is um, applying for a study visa and um, she's also applying for her husband and her child they have only one child so let's select study visa for her studies and the work visa and visit visa so the question is what would you like to do in canada and um, if Emma is going to study so let's use study how long are you planning to stay in canada um, she's going to school and her school is more than six months it cannot be permanently because um it's not permanent residency she's going for she's going for school so so it's temporarily more than six months select the code that matches the one on your passport if i is a nigerian so let's pick nigerian for her nigeria for her what is your current country or territory of residence so wherever what country you are living at that moment is what you should select if Oma is living in nigeria if Oma is living in nigeria so do you have a family member who is a canadian citizen in this case if you want to get more information about this just click family member family member in this case is an applicant's closest relatives in the context of an application to ircc it is defined as a spouse or common law partner dependent children and their dependent children so it's your spouse and kids so if you if you have your spouse or your kid that is a permanent um, that is a canadian citizen or permanent resident you select in this case if a mother doesn't have so let's select no what is your birth date um uh, remember we selected 1993 for ifoma so let's pick 1993 january 1st yeah done you click on next are you a lawful permanent resident? That's if you have green card to US. No, if Oma doesn't have, so no. If you have, you can select yes. Oh, sorry. Um, have you been accepted to a de designated learning institution? If Oma has admission already to a DLI school, so yes. Um, what is your marital status? If Oma is married, so is married. What's your province or territory of destination? Where if Oma's school is located is Abeta. So let's select a beta. Um, so based on the information given, they are saying if Oma is eligible to apply for a study permit, so continue. Um, you can read all of this information, but I'm already used to this website, so I don't need to read that much. Do you have a valid work permit or study permit? I need a visa to return. If Oma is the first time she's applying, so let's select no. Are you an exchange student? No, she's not an exchange student. Is work an essential component of your students? No, of your studies? No. Are you a spouse or common law partner? No, no, no. If I'm a is not on that day, so no. She not receive any of these. No. You can take your time to read all of this. Um, are you accompanying a family member that has started in Canada or has recently been approved to come to Canada? in this case if you already have if your partner already has a study permit or um work permit into canada you can select yes but in this case if a mass partner doesn't have that so no have you ever committed that's if you've been arrested if you've committed any crime so no um this is for medicals here so in this case if you've done your medicals at this point of your application you can click yes because um at the point of creating your application there's a point where you have to upload your medical results or if you're going to do it before you submit your application maybe you can click yes to when you get that but make sure you have your result before you submit your application so in this case she has not done a medical um, exam so let's select no for her um have you visited or live in any of these designated countries well if you are confused about any question just click on this question mark so these designated countries they have a list and nigeria is not one of them so no do you want to submit an application for a family member this is the place if you are applying alone you have to select no but this if you're applying with a family member or with your whole family this is where you can add additional family members. 
So you click yes at this point and um, they'll give you an opportunity to apply to add your family members one by one. So um, as you can see, they say if you are submitting for more than one family member, please start with your spouse. So you're yeah, answering questions for your spouse. So what country does your family member live in? For Ifoma, they are all living in Nigeria. Which country issued your family members' passports or travel documents in Nigeria? Click on next. Is your family member that's if a family member has a green card? No. What is your family member's current marital status? Um, married because they are married. Um, let's say her husband's date of birth is 1991, February 1st. Where will your family member be staying in Canada? It's the same province that she's going to be living, so it's our better we picked for her. So, same as her husband. Why is your family member visiting Canada? We're applying for a work permit for the husband. If your partner doesn't want a work permit, maybe just visit. You can select visits, all of that types. Like the second family I applied for, the husband is not ready to leave his job yet. So I applied for a visitor's visa for him and he got 10 years. So if that is your case, you can select visits, all of that types. But in this case, we're doing an open work permit for Ifoma's husband. So let's select. Um... Has your family member ever committed, been arrested for that crime? Let's say no in this case. Has your family member had a medical exam? Let's say for my husband has not done that. All of them have not done medical exam. Still no. Nigeria is no one of it. Um... Does your family member want to work in one of the following jobs? Um, let's assume if my husband wants to work in business. But if you are going to work in one of the following jobs, you let them know if you qualify for them. Select no in this case, no. So in the past 10 years, has your family member given their fingerprints and photo biometrics when an application comes to Canada? That's if the family member have done biometrics before, you select no. If the person has, you select yes. Like in my own case, my husband, was it eight years ago, um, applied for a visitor's visa to Canada that was, that was approved. So at the point of our application, they still have his fingerprints. So there was no need for him to do biometrics because um, your biometrics is valid for 10 years for any visa application you want to do. So once that 10 years expire and maybe you've not got some permanent residency, you have to still go and do another biometrics. So um, yeah, all the fees will be paid um, at once. So you select yes. Do you want to submit an application for another family member? So if you have more family members, this is where you'll be adding one by one. Like I said before, they ask the question again. So in this case, if a man and a husband has only one child, so let's select yes. What countries does your family member live in? Mm, if a man's child lives in Nigeria with them, which country issued your family member's passport? Uh, Nigeria. So whatever country you are from, according to what's on your passport, where you live, just read the instructions before you answer. Um family member have green card no if a family member has green card to the u.s you can select yes what is your family member's current marital status um let's say if a child is around 10 years old so never married and single family members date of birth um let's say 2 13 march 1st where will your family member be staying in canada Surely the child will be staying where she's schooling, so our better. We picked our better for her, so it's our better. Um, is your family member currently or will they be living in Canada with the parents or legal guardian for the entire state? They're going to be living with if or so yeah. If your children will be living with you, select yes. 
So a family member traveling with a parent who does not have full legal custody of them, no, she will be traveling with um, her child and her husband. So she's not going to be sending her child through someone. But there are some instances where um, parents are already in Canada send a legal guardian to bring their children for them. So you can select it yes, if that's your case. But in this case, no. Why is your family member visiting Canada? Um, for study permits because this person is, um, if a mass child is above six years, um, I think the age to start school in Canada is six years and above. Though it depends on the province too. But from what I've heard, it's six years. So we're going to be applying for a study permit for the child. But if your child is less than um, six years, you have to apply for a visitor's visa for that child because the child is not eligible to apply for a study permit. So you can select visits or other types for the child. But in this case, so it's study more than six months. So um, that's if your family member have committed crime. No. Has your family member had a medical exam? No. Like I mentioned, all of them have not done medicals. Has your family member visited or lived in one of the designated countries? No. Remember, if you need more information on any question, just click on the question mark and you get more understanding of the question. Um, that's if, this question is if the family member has given fingerprints and biometrics, so you click on no. Um, so yes, should be paying for everybody's application fee at once. Do you want to submit an application for another family member? So if you have more family members, this is where you'll be adding them one by one. But in this um, demo application, it's just one child if mama has, so let's select no. Are you giving someone access to your application? No. In the past 10 years, have you given your fingerprints? This is where they're asking if for my she has given her fingerprints before. No, she has not given before. So there are fees associated with this application. Uh, blah blah blah. Yes. Let's see, be paying. Are you able to make a digital copy of your documents with scanner? Or yeah, you are submitting an online application, so it's supposed to be yes. Will you be paying application fees? So these are various ways you can pay your application fee when you are done with your application. So yes, it's an online application, so it's going to be yes. So these are all the answers. So at this point, you can review or change any um, answer. Maybe if you made a mistake, you can change the answer. If you want to modify, just just click on it um let's say for instance we want to correct let's say for instance we want to correct this month we can select second let's we want to correct the day we can select second and then update information but we're not doing that so let's go let's cancel it let's assume that everything is correct here so you can go through all the answers you've given modify any one you want to modify and if you want to modify click on this um this icon here with the pencil so return to your online application we're not modifying anything um at this point too so when you are filling the forms even if you don't want to get to that end where they show you all your answers you can select modify my answers When you are sure your answers are correct, you click on continue. So these are the steps you are going to pass through before you are done with all your application. First, you use your account. You must be logged into your account to submit an application. Yeah, you can submit offline. Save your application. Anytime you exit your application or if you are automatically logged out, because if you leave your screen, for several minutes i think um i don't know i'm not sure of the number of minutes but it automatically logs you out so but it saves what you've uploaded for you so and then step three is to upload your documents so you can upload your documents in different formats pdf jpj different formats but i prefer pdf formats but if you are okay with all these ones 
you can upload your documents in that format so you can go through all the information for this old portal um it's only a maximum size of 12 mb you can upload under each document that's why i actually prefer the old portal i heard for the new portal it's just 2 mb so these are the details you need to know for each of those documents yeah you you are going to upload then when you are done with uploading documents you pay your fees and then um, once you have paid your fee you receive a payment confirmation page so let's go on so this is the application this is the first um, one for the study permit for ifoma and then under it is family members this is fam for the family member one with a person's date of birth that's her husband and then this is family member two this is for Ifoma's child and then this is the total fees Ifoma has to pay when she's done with everything so when you are done with uploading all your documents it's going to take you to the point where you can pay your fees so there are different forms for each person in this application um, as you can see this is um, IMM1294 for the study um, permits made outside of Canada since each of them have their forms what I advise you to do is that you create a folder for this application let me say family visa application then inside that folder you create a folder for each of the persons doing the application so that by the time you are saving you are downloading these um, forms and um, the arranging documents too is going to be well sorted and you'll not be confused you not end up uploading someone's form though um this way it can be corrected but in order to avoid stressing too much just do that so let's download this um you can view this um file online so you can only view it if you upgrade to the latest version of adobe reader so you can download if you don't have adobe reader in your on your laptop you can download the, the latest version of adobe reader you can google adobe reader latest version and you find several ways to download it so let's click on download um you can save it on that download so anywhere or the folder you must have created for this application and then you save it so it's inside that folder um i don't want to go to the forms yet maybe according to the request i will do um a, a video on how to fill the forms so uh-huh then um these are the supporting documents for her study visa application later of acceptance let's say if you have any um question about any file you're supposed to upload click on question mark as you can see for later of acceptance you must provide later of acceptance you receive from the educational institution in canada that you'll be attending so this later of acceptance you must have it before you actually submit your application um it's given by dli schools if you've gotten admission with them and paid um, your tuition deposit so let's try let's say for instance now i want to upload later of acceptance you click on upload file click on choose file and it will take you to your um your desktop so this is a desktop so uh, this is my download sorry it can it will take you to your computer file anywhere you have your letter of acceptance you can select it but in this case let's say my letter of acceptance is under downloads let's say this is the letter of acceptance you click on it you can double click on it or click on it and select open and then you upload file so you can see it said success uploading file return to your documents the data page of your international passport is what you have to upload there you click on upload choose file let's say this is it open upload file and return to your documents as you can see it's showing this has been uploaded but not submitted because the application has not been submitted yet so this is another form for you to download you just click on it only this particular form can open here 
but the rest can't open and uh, even if you use it here i don't think you can use it to sign um so this is the next one is proof of means of financial support this is where you upload your proof of funds documents yes you can't upload all your document your proof of funds documents one by one one by one you have to merge them together so after i'm done showing you about this application i'm going to show you how to use the i love pdf to to merge uh, documents together and um compress them to your the favorable size you want so there's marriage license you upload here digital photo um uh, not like full picture maybe a nice um maybe passport photograph yeah you can do that see you can get any more information about it here so you have another form here you can download and fill so this is optional documents those optional documents you mustn't attend to them but this fill them up like fill this form upload it and also submit something on that client information in my um, past uh, video i've already spoken a lot about client information and proof of funds so if you actually want to know the kind of documents to upload on that client information and on that proof of funds you can go back to those videos and watch them so the next one is the application fam for family member one Remember, it's a work permit to apply for the person. So you fill this form for the person, uh, family information, another form, passport, purpose of travel. This is where you upload SOP for the special open work permits. Yeah, though the information is that you can upload your flight ticket, departing Canada, travel itinerary. But when it comes to work permits, you can upload the SOP alone on that this place. And then digital photo. Um, another form to fill, select it and download it. Um, client information. This is where you upload more information about your partner. Um, you can add this uh, SOP for special open work permit here too, together with um, maybe CV or resume, um, proof of funds of the person. If you notice, there's no space for proof of funds for special open work permit but this client information gives you an opportunity to, to upload whatever document you want to upload for your partner so this is family member two um that's if a child if you fill this form um digital photo passport letter of acceptance um for a child that is not above 19 years that child cannot get a letter of acceptance before entering Canada, according to the IRCC website. So, um, in the video, in one of my videos on how I applied for um, the two families, how I applied for their Canadian visas, I spoke about letter of acceptance and what can be uploaded under this letter of acceptance. So you can go back to the to that video and get um, an idea of what to upload under letter of acceptance for this child because. Is compulsory you upload as you can see in brackets is um, written required then optional documents client information all the extra information you have for the child just um, go and watch my, my other videos to understand documents you can upload on that client information especially for a minor um, for student for a student and for a worker so when you are done uploading all this, it takes you to where you can pay and then you pay your fee. So um, how to fill these forms? Maybe according to request, I'm going to do a video on how to rightly fill all the forms because um, it's kind of confusing, but you can um, start seeing what you can do and, and then um, ensure that as you're filling the form, click on validate um there's actually validates on the form or you click on save i also said i was going to be sharing on how to use the i love pdf tool to merge um compress and split your pdf documents so i'm going to be showing you now just go to your browser and say um google i love pdf there are different options you don't have to create an account with them 
there are different things you can do with this tool you can merge you can split pdf compress pdf convert pdf from one format to another from jpg to pdf word to pdf powerpoint to pdf so if you actually want to upload all your documents in pdf on the ircc portal you can use this tool to convert your image um but me i normally use google documents to convert my my files to pdf and then i come in here if i want to compress and merge my documents together so let me show you how the merge tool is used for the merge um, tool is already selected that's why it's red so i can select pdf here let's say we want to merge these two um, documents together merge means you yeah, are bringing two of them together so i've selected two documents i want and then you can rearrange if you want this document to come first you move it first if you want it to come last you long press it and move it you drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop and then also if you want to add more documents you click on that plus let's say you want to add this document together as much documents you want you can select but let's just use this one since it's um is a demo you can see add documents you want to arrange the same thing and then when you are done with the arrangement of the documents you select merge it's already downloading the documents so this is it it's the three documents have been merged together they've all come together to form one pdf so if you want to do um something else you can see all pdf tools showing you different things you can do so if you want to, this is just advert here so if you want to split a document let's say you want to split this one let's split documents we just merged and the name is i love pdf you select it um, let's say you want to select the pages you want to take out you can select extract pages so whatever page you own select will be taken out of the pdf let's take out page three and four so if you want to download the selected pages together you can just leave it like that and select split pdf or but if you want to merge this one to five six seven together you select merge extracted pages and select split it's already downloading as you can see the page three and four is already out of the documents yeah so let's um finally let me show you how to use the compress tool so you select compress select pdf file let's say um we want to compress this i um, love pdf file select it there are different types of compression there's extreme compression recommended compression and less compression um if you actually want to reduce your file very well and your file doesn't contain pictures just um, text you can use this extreme compression to actually reduce the file and it's not going to affect the text like that but if you have a picture and use extreme compression it will compress it so much that the picture is not going to be clear so i don't advise you use extreme compression for images so um, use recommended compression for images but in this case it's just text that is inside so let's use extreme compression and see so you can see it has reduced it from 163.84 kilobytes to 66.26 kilobytes so see and the file is still the same so um, it can reduce from MB to KB from like 2 MB to 100 and something kilobytes. So just um, explore the tool Check all you can do with it. Yeah, I like I prefer using this tool when I'm Compressing and merging documents because it's easy. There is not the only tool you can use to merge and compress your documents, but like this so just play around with it and get to understand it too better so guys that is it um, on how to create an application on the ircc portal um i did not do how to fill forms yet but maybe in another video i'll try to do that and then 
um, also how to use the I love PDF tool so just kind of explore and um, get to learn how to use it to better I hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned something new too <laughs> whatever question you have you can ask in the comment section and um, also share on what you would like me to share on in uh, my next video um, please if you've not subscribed to my channel please do also like and share my videos and please don't forget to hit the notification button so that whenever i um, share any video you'll be notified thank you guys for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something new too <laughs> see you in my next video bye